everybody, and welcome to AJS News. This is the first video we've got of two for this week. Uh, but first, a new important word from our sponsors. They got something new. Check it out. Hey guys, we've been singing the praises of Manscaped and its huge impact on our grooming routine for a while now. But what you do between trims is just as important as the trimming itself. Which is why Manscaped came up with the Crop Care Kit. It's got the ball deodorant, the ball toner, hygienic wipes, and this amazing smelling hair and body wash. When was the last time you upgraded your scent? You know, we aren't 12 years old anymore. A lot has changed since then. Oh man, look at my new Warhammer figures. That's so cool. I can't wait to kick your butt this weekend. Uh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, and after, do you think we could play on PlayStation? We could play Gran Turismo. Oh, dude, I'm down. That sounds great. Oh, yeah! Um, all right, like like I was saying, we aren't 12 years old anymore. So much has changed since then. Alex, Alex, look what happened. My Lego set just came in, the Batmobile oh, with Michael that, Keaton. That, that's the good one, man. I love that one. Yeah. Do you think when we build it, we could order some pizza? Yeah. Breadsticks? You got it, buddy. Yes! Yeah! Joey said yes to pizza! Oh, we're getting pizza! 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 Alright, well I take that back. Nothing's really changed in our lives since we're 12, but uh, now we don't have to smell like it. Get yourself the crop care kit, upgrade your sense. Go to manscaped.com slash angry Joe Show. It's pretty sweet! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we are kids. Yeah. We are big kids. I want more Legos. The point of life is to have uh, more Legos. We bought nothing for <laughs> yeah. We bought nothing for that video, by the way. Crazy he man. Or, he already just recently bought the Batmobile. We yeah, own all his toys. Cause... Getting the Batwing next. Are you yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, guys, uh, manscaped.com. Uh, support us. Support them. Click those links down below. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. They got a new product. What is it? Uh, the crop care kit. You know, comes with all of the wonderful smelling things, the hygienic wipes, the ball toner, ball deodorant, the bat, the hair and body wash which smells uh, awesome. I wanted him to tell you about the bath and the body wash, body right? Wash, yeah. Because I already like the way it smells and that get you right to it. If you want to cover your uh, other parts of your body besides <laughs> that ball <laughs> toner that I use, uh, get picked that up, guys. Yeah. All right. So uh, we got a little bit of AJS news. Um, downstairs in the review studio, I've, uh, I've filmed the Avengers review. Uh, we got up all the sound panels. I'll be showing you uh, videos of that at the beginning of that review when it comes out this week. Um, also, we got a gift from Rogue's Apparel. Rogue's Apparel is actually yeah. going to be doing uh, our, our our shirts for the Patreons at those uh, higher levels. So uh, just because these shirts, God damn, They're I don't know what material they, he uses, but they feel so I was worried good. that he was going to be rough. He's, so these are the exclusive, uh, so you know, uh, higher tier <laughs> shirts just to, you know, we want to give something extra to show those guys off. Uh, we really appreciate them. So we just send you one of these. Um, and he also sent us these gift baskets. He's such a he jerk. He's the master of gifts. Great. He sends me chips and jerky and candy, and they're on my desk, and I sit there and go, like, I've been healthy today, and then I eat the entire gift basket in one day. <laughs> so thanks to Rogue's Apparel. Their yeah, link will be in the, the description down below if you want to check out. He's an artist, creates uh, different shirt designs and super comfortable shirts, and now we're working for him for our Patreon uh, you know, higher-tier shirt level. So that is all the AJS news. You're going to have the Avengers review coming out this week. Oh, another AJS news. So... We hear your feedback. I want to have the best audio quality. I got hmm. this soundboard from, you know, Rose. Uh. And I just love it. I love these sound effects. I know Alex doesn't like this intro sound, but you know, we got all these. Like we're gonna do. We're gonna do our we'll own. Change it. Right. Yeah. But I don't know. Just uh, so I, I contacted Road. I said, "Hey, we're sounding a little robotic. Doesn't sound as good as some other sound mixer, mixers." They gave me some tips. I've implemented them. So let us know. Uh, you know. But just in case, I did. Purchase the competitor board, right? Dun, dun, dun. So this is Zoom Live Track L8, which is a competitor to the Roadcaster Pro. So on the first news episode, compare this audio quality with episode two, which we will do on the Zoom Live Track L8. And hopefully that has some special effects buttons. We'll set it up here in a moment. But, uh, yeah. No. So, again, thank you guys, uh, as always, for supporting the show, allowing us to, uh, you know, do the uh, purchasing the equipment, try to evolve the show, make the quality better for you guys. Also, as you can tell, 
We are in a new room. Uh, we've purchased some new green screens. Unfortunately, they didn't get here in time with all the pandemic kind of stuff, delaying uh, shipments. So he's got a green screen. We don't. don't this one. is uh, uh, so far this storage room for all the terrain that we're going to be playing oh, on God. AJ's <laughs> table time and our battle reports. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, but eventually we'll get a green screen behind us and uh, go back to that old method. So. Yeah. That's AJS News. Uh, things are really evolving and moving, and it's all thanks to you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Let's get to the news. All right. The first one we got to talk about is, hey, remember when Blizzard was a company that we liked and made games that were for us? Uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. I haven't liked them for years and years and years because... In my opinion, they stopped making games for me and they started making games for as whatever the largest slice of pie they could get. Yeah, I know that they're business and they got to make things for. Boo! But they, it's, you guys it's, not have phones? Yeah, exactly. I thought you were going to say crayon eaters. Yeah, I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> er, oh, er, what? Yeah, I mean, piss soaked troglodytes are the people they make games for right now. So, uh, Mike Morhaime. Blizzard has lost their way a little bit in my. They're, 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 well, their oh, yeah, just a little fucking bit. <laughs> But their reputation is tarnished. Yeah. So uh, Mike Morhaime, the, the the old president of Blizzard during the good times and some of the bad times mm -hmm. post acquisition, started a new studio, Dreamhaven. And so he kind of announced it. They haven't said what they're going to be working on specifically. A lot of ex Blizzard uh, executives and people who are like really designing the games that we we know and love from them from way back when are going to be in charge. Yep. Um, and he had a lot of really interesting things to say about his direction in this company versus where Blizzard is. You know, he's not exactly casting shade directly, but there was definitely some there. So originally he said, "I'm excited to team up with such talented people who care deeply about games and their communities. I've always believed in the power of games." to bring people together regardless mm. of backgrounds or boundaries something we agree with uh, absolutely and he said the Dreamhaven wants to provide support and freedom for its developers to be bold and experimental with more of a focus on creativity than rapidly turning massive profits uh -oh. so it turns out he wants to make games yeah. ooh, instead ooh, ooh. of microtransactions because you gotta realize that loot boxes were really popularized by Blizzard. Overwatch yep. and, and Overwatch. Overwatch and so that was kind of like the sign of the Dark times for they them. They made it acceptable. Yeah. yeah they, uh, and and uh, it gave people an excuse so that they could start defending them. And then they were defending them. And then they would get worse. And they'd be more defending and justifying. Yeah. And then they were just and here we are putting out stuff that, you know, honestly wasn't for me. I don't think Diablo 3 was a finished product when it and was And now released. even the fans are like, what? what happened? Yeah. It's like it's been this way for years. You know You're just happened. finally like realizing it's hit the point where you, you know, they've hit their tolerances. So hopefully this, uh, this studio, uh, I mean, there's such wonderful people running the company that they they stick to their guns and they, they make games that they feel that they want to make and not profits be damned but at the same time they just they make stuff without having to overly monetize these games like yep. Blizzard Activision does now yep. so exciting stuff I, yeah. I look forward to seeing what kind of stuff they put out mm -hmm. um Rumors this week for Halo kind of got out of control because people on the internet are horrible. Um, and they just like, oh, we they saw... Need something to hang on to. Yeah, they're right? like, well, <laughs> Halo's coming out this day. No, I saw this reeler put it out on this day. And it got so bad and there were so many like bad rumors all over the place that um, they actually came out. The developers were just like, no. Stop it. Mm -hmm. There's None of this stuff is accurate. We haven't put out a, a date at all. These are all placeholders like, that you're latching on to. Yeah, you Where? guys are just making stuff up, and it got so damaging. They're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't scare people by saying it or, or set expectations wrong that it's coming out you know, next week or six months. So they actually had to come out and just stop everything on Twitter going, stop it. Stop. We will <laughs> let you know when it's ready. There is no secret. It's not even out there. Xbox. Said Jordan Giff, stop Xbox, it. Get some help. Man. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Sony Pony Boys were the worst. Now Xbox are the worst. It's it's just hilarious. How dare There's you? You're just a Sony fanboy. There's fan a boy. whole culture. Oh, the Sony yeah. fanboys are terrible too. Yeah. But uh, I've just seen the culture on Twitter. It's it's uh, frankly, it's just Twitter. Twitter's a terrible, terrible place. I hate it. It's funny on the outside, looking from the outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's just you like, don't have a Twitter. Well, no. you do, but it's engaged. It's hidden. All right. I don't tweet. I don't even look at it. Yeah, uh, Halo, man. Uh, that's a real big blow to Xbox, or so we thought, because uh, lately uh, there's been a lot of positive press on Xbox, a lot of good reasons to go with Xbox. Bethesda buying X or uh, Xbox buys Bethesda, Bethesda buy Xbox. Mm -hmm. No, so Xbox looking real good. Yes. Xbox! Well, speaking, planning for the future. Yeah. Um, well, speaking of good news for gamers, uh, so among us to, well, among us, uh, took kind of the world by storm in the last couple yeah. months. It was released yeah, two years ago. We have a lot of fun with it. We yeah, just put yeah. out an I, impressions video. I haven't it. played it yet. I want to play with you guys. Uh, I did play the horror one, but I'm That's hearing Among too. Us was uh, was super 
been out for a while. Two years. Yeah. What? It just and popped. It just blew up. It just Which, blew which up. streamer? Who was it? Was it a ninja, Pokemans? Uh, who was playing it? I, I, everybody. Summit. Like every, all of them have been playing it. So ah. everyone's been playing it. So they like the idea Cold. of this like social de- de- deduction mm-hmm. game, uh, and it's been great. And it was so insanely popular that you know they had talked about maybe doing the sequel. And so the developer cool. just said, "Among Us Two, cancel." They're not going to do it anymore. What? And instead of all of that time and energy in developing a brand new game, they're like, tell you what, it's so popular. We've done so well recently. We're just going to take all of those improvements and put it in the main game. So you're already playing it. Instead of having to buy the second one, you're just going all of it. So that's 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 a a good developer. That's a really nice thing. That is a nice guy. That's a nice thing. You know, uh, he he does not forcing everybody to buy another. $20 Twenty dollar game, fifteen dollar game. And they How could charge. Is it? They could charge. I mean, I think we got it for six bucks. Yeah, we got it pretty wow. cheap. Now so I mean, it. and it, you, there's. He's happy. Yeah, absolutely. And people are we buying like little money. hats and things, like yeah. little tiny children that you can sure. walk around. And so it's <laughs> yes. it's a it's a, a way to monetize a, Wait, a really what? cheap game. Children that you can walk around. Uh, yeah, as you, like you have them on a leash and you just walk they, they around. They kind of follow, you, follow you around. You can buy a little hat to change your dude, little but you can also. Children follow you around, but it, don't you get murdered? Horribly? Yeah, and they yeah, sit the by your ch- corpse. The kids just watch. What are you going to do? It's I got to play this game. <laughs> yeah, this game's kind of funny. <laughs> so, some of the updates that we're going to go into Among Us 2 that are coming to Among Us 1. Uh, the first and foremost on the bullet list is servers. Uh, their yes. server, we had issues trying to play it the very first time. We actually couldn't even get log in. Well, I didn't um, expect all these, all uh, these new people, people new to come people in. To and so, they're really putting a lot of uh, uh, effort into fixing the server issues, which is great for us. That's the, the biggest issue we've had the game. Yeah. They're going to offer colorblind support, which is something that, you know, this game is super important to say, it is. green killed me, red killed me. Yeah, and so, the colorblind like, people well, like, I, I don't know. Colors. Gray killed me. Shit, Shit. And so they're going to provide support yeah. for that. That's a That's really awesome. nice thing. So yeah. the accessibility options is a wonderful thing to put in there. Uh, friends and account systems going to get added. They're going to have new stages. And he said that we have lots of other things planned. We just need to prior, uh, prioritize and organize all of our plans. So stay tuned. So again, this is a wonderful thing coming from someone that doesn't need to do this, right? They, no. ha- they have the world. They have it's a great story. The, the entire world saying, give us Among Us too," And they're like, we're going to give it to you for I'm free. Gonna- Give, I'm give it to you now. Amazing. Give it for now and for free. So I'm going to try maps. my best, and we're going to yeah. update mm-hmm. the original. Uh, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe the the features for Among Us 2, he realized, hey, it's not that big of an upgrade, <laughs> and I'm close to finishing it. The game is taking off now. Let me just put it in now. And then it's hot right I can, now, yeah. I can, It's hot right now. We can make money with it. Then I can take that money and reinvest it and give you a real Among Us 2 in the future that is much much, you know, mm-hmm. more improved. And or, I applaud that effort, and I yeah. would purchase it one, yeah. again. Yeah. Again. I like to support these kind of I don't have it on my PC. Oh, we bought it on my account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's $6. Go buy it. Go buy it. Support these people. Go buy it. Go buy it among us. It's fun. It is fun with friends. It's still so pretty fun. If solo, you, there's like lobbies you just go into. You can join lobbies. People do, like, there's still, like, people do discords. I just think, I heard y'all saying, okay, we're gonna make sure the people we let in are people that are cool that we know are gonna yes. be cool. We are always Cause worried about because be we've hit some people it's trolling where you know people are on their own private Discord going, "Oh, this internet. guy killed me," and they're ruining the lobbies. But you boot those people and then you figure it out. So, okay. all right, um, we talked a little bit about this nonstop for the last six months. How Xbox names their consoles stupidly. Um, yeah. And because they named them stupidly, potentially there could be some confusion uh, when purchasing. And it turned out we are profits because it's absolutely correct. Uh, Xbox that? One sales oh, have skyrocketed <laughs> because people, uh, you know, in, early in the morning, gamers don't like to wake up early. And Xbox forcing them to wake up early to pre order the Series X, uh, they ordered a lot of Xbox One S- Xs. <laughs> You motherfucking dumb motherfucker. We told you. We told your ass. Joe, that is so stupid. Anybody no can tell the fucking difference. It. You're fucking the Xbox again, man. I got a personal pr- fucking problem with them turning into fucking... Uh, <laughs> Dad, Dad, here's the thing. Join the is it, No, it's not gamers. It's it's obviously it's some aunts, of them. It's uncles. Yeah. It's grandmas. It's grandpas. Sometimes even you know dads and moms and call it for the call my fucking Xbox a Nintendo. It's like Dad, it's not a Nintendo. It's an Xbox. Okay, well like, Xbox, get your, get, get your Nintendo out of here. X. Yeah, get your Nintendo X out of the room. Nintendo X out of the room. Everything was a Nintendo with so, your dad. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, yeah. Girl, your Nintendo's. Like, <laughs> 
but I don't want to say anything because you're going to yell at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> it's not a, Well, Dad, there's the Nintendo 64 and there's the PlayStation. We're playing the PlayStation. Remember that one time we were like... <laughs> yeah. We turned it off. We st- hey, we're still playing. Technically, <laughs> we, we are right. We turned off the Nintendo. <laughs> Anyways, it's for people like that that, you know, uh, you know may... And it, uh, frankly, it's Microsoft's fault. And yes. uh, they, they could have uh, had a little bit more unique naming system. And I think yeah. it's way cooler to have a better naming system. Oh. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to say the Sony is any better. Sony is boring. It is, but you know what you want. One, two, three, four, five. The newest but five one. is better than five. four. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's a problem. But uh, just creative names are cool. Too. Yes, it, I agree. Uh, we got a bunch of really great tweets. Uh, so one guy said, I was half asleep and ordered an Xbox One X by mistake. Fuck. Uh, I hap- there's another one I happily snagged my Xbox at 8 a.m. from Best Buy wondered why it said it would be ready on September 30th you know oh. I'm not gonna lie I'm over here talking about how I would never make that mistake and it's aunts and uncles but when I woke up and, and for the Xbox one and it, and I, I would because I stayed a real late and I was going through my phone and I was checking I I did come across the page and for like maybe one and you a half seconds, I was like, oh my God, there it is. And then I said, wait a minute, Xbox One X. I said, no, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. no. So, for, so for half a second, no, 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 no. Because if this was a bomb, <laughs> all the bomb detectors would go off in this hotel. Mm-hmm. So uh, I imagine there's still some people who are thrilled that may not even know. So if you ordered an Xbox Series X, maybe check your receipt and mm-hmm. make sure you didn't sleepily order an xbox one x um but this all could have been prevented if they you know chose better ways to name the consoles scorpio something yeah like that. Ooh, well what, what what was that scarlet right scarlet yeah, it's yeah. like that's a cooler name all right the last bit of microsoft news we have for this video is we we talked a lot about microsoft purchasing bethesda zenimax you know that whole umbrella of of companies and they had a, a corporate meeting this week, and they said, "Look, this is not the last purchase. Where we have our eyes this on is merely the beginning. Yeah, we have <laughs> eyes on other people, and so I that's that's really big news. He spent seven and a half billion dollars buying an umbrella of uh, uh, of game companies, out. and you're like, well, we're still looking to buy some. Yeah. And now the internet thinks they're going to buy Sega. They're like, no, they've got to buy Sega. But I, I imagine." I don't know. I mean, the internet mm. internet's wrong a lot, but that would be kind of cool. Like, yeah, I, I'd be down with that. Be. So there, there have been a lot of the. Did you rumors. are we showing some of the the potential rumors, Easter eggs, <laughs> and things? But mm-hmm. but the Tokyo Game Show ended already, right? So it never mm-hmm. did happen. No, they never. Nothing was announced. What the fuck? Because like there was a lady with the X and the and the box, and then there was all these like hidden things. I it's think that's potentially that hidden things or just facts that sometimes you know X's show up places. So yeah, people we'll see what they want to see, like the face on Mars. Yeah, Xbox. <laughs> but there are aliens on Mars. <laughs> yes, shape shifting lizard people. Right, chemtrails are real. Mm-hmm. Xbox buying Sega. And those buildings and Damn. obelisks are there. I've seen it. Uh huh. So we don't know who they're going to be going to buy, but there's a lot of potentials. Uh, the internet has their favorites, so we're going to keep a keep a look at. Um, Microsoft seems to be on a roll, and if they can keep these this momentum going, keep gobbling up uh, game companies to provide more games, mm-hmm. I could see them being a real competitor in oh, this yeah. generation's you know uh, console fight. Mm-hmm. All right, well that's all I've got for this episode. Unless you guys have anything else small you want to talk about? Uh, no. no. Again, I just want to uh, you know remind people that uh, you know where this is on the Roadcaster mic. Uh, the, the next, next episode one. is going to be on the Zoom, Zoom live track LA, and we're going to, you know, compare the two. This one is so much. I love. I can actually. My personal is Road. I just wish it sounded better because I could see how much time we spent. Eighteen. But it sounds like garbage in my seconds. ears. It, it's monitoring is bad, but I think the audio that it outputs is good hopefully you guys let us know compare it to the next video so it's so important for you to go check out video number two also thank you to our sponsors manscape with the new body wash go check it out if you want to smell good and treat yourself click those links below let them know we're supporting them they support us and we want to support uh you know you guys uh with some uh, fresh and cleanness so we shall see you on the next angry joe show bye guys, bye guys.